What's going on? Today, I am going to show you how to use your multi-output VST within Bitwiz Studio. All right, let's get to it. So you may wonder, what is a multi-output VST? Let me show you. I'm going to use FL Studio as an example. So we're gonna pull up FL Studio. So you can actually bring up FL Studio as a VST within Bitwiz Studio. And you may ask, why would someone ever do that? Well, because FL Studio, in my opinion, they have some really cool native VSTs that you can't get anywhere else. So here for this example, you already have a, a predetermined instrument. So let's just change this one, make it flex or something like that. Because you can't use that as a VST within Bitwiz Studio. So let's play. Oh, so the first thing you need to do is in Bitwiz Studio, you need to add the missing chains. So go to this tab right here, you add missing chains. Boom. So what that does is when you go into the mixer mode, every channel has its own mixer, okay? So this will correlate to FL Studio channels. So what you need to do in FL Studio is for each individual tracks, 16 tracks you need to move it you need to assign it to a fl channel so starting with the master channel you're going to set this to none but starting with one you're going to go from one through 16. All right, so now every track, well, not every track, now tracks one through 16 has been assigned from FL Studio to Bitwiz Studios one through 16, okay? Now the way that you play these tracks individually is that you can create a MIDI track, all right? And what you do is you assign this MIDI track to FL Studio VST. Now go back to the tab and you want to go to the instrument track properties. And now you can see that channel one is for channel one in FL Studio. And you can toggle through the different channels one through 16. If you want to program to multiple channels simultaneously and play them simultaneously, what you could do is duplicate the track and then change the channel that it's gonna play from. So this one's it's playing channel one, this one's gonna play channel two. Now, if you want to capture your performances that you created using FL Studio VSTs, you create your clips here. I want to show you here. So I created like a quick little clip. Let me play it from the beginning. And the cool thing about this, you can actually in the mixer channel add little effects. So I'm just going to add like a delay or something. So what you'll do is go to the, I guess the master uh, VST track and create an empty clip. So I think that was like two bars. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this two bars long. And what I'm going to do, you have to make sure these clips have been activated and you're gonna go bounce in place. Now it's gonna capture everything. And if you wanted to capture these two tracks individually, you can also do that. So what I'll do is deactivate this track and I'll just deactivate this. And I'm gonna create a, another track and I'm going to bounce and put. All 
All right, and there you have it. I've demonstrated how you can use your multi-output VST within BigWiz Studio. Now, let me know in the comments if you find this video to be helpful. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and share it with your friends. If you didn't, let me know in the comments what you didn't like about the video. All right, I am Doe for Show, and I will see you next time.